all right youtube so um we all know what just happened um pavo betrayed me um i don't know why but i obviously well tell you the truth i kind of knew it was going to happen even like from the very first moment i met him i could just tell i had some type of feeling that he was going to betray me um but uh what i need to see that if i could do or not i need to see if um if i could um trying to find a way to get out of here and um when i do get out i do plan on putting the bullet through pa pavel's head um i still haven't found anything about honor yet i still haven't found anything about the dark one even though in the last chapter the um the play was was quite good um at least i got a show before they actually <laughs> took me out but um yeah and um just to comment on my other videos um for some reason my mic didn't record my voice so um i'm gonna just sum it up real quick the last previous chapters was about um me and pavo actually getting into the city well not the city but getting into um the red line part of metro um once we got to the red line part of metro um i walked through the city i mean i walked through his metro station and all of that happened and i met a couple people um i bought some weapon and ammo and stuff like that and then as you can see pavo betrayed me so that's pretty much all that happened um i mean you can tell from the footage but um yeah and um hopefully my mic is not back and stupid and we could just continue doing this um i'm gonna go ahead and um start this next chapter and um we're gonna see what's gonna happen hey stop that bleh. why are you gonna just being me? over enthusiastic you know artyom look i think of you as my friend really but as a soldier, you understand that I had to follow my orders and bring you here, okay? Now, you're under arrest, but perhaps it's not the end of the line for you. I hope. Good day, sir. Good day, sir. At ease, товарищ. So, you're doing good here? Are you not? Yes, sir. Comrade Moskvin is here, inspecting the troops. The Secretary General? Yeah? What about Comrade Corbett? Yes, sir. Comrade General is here, too. Opa, it's my lucky day, huh? Okay, things are moving faster than we anticipated. Look, Artyom, you're a smart guy, so you understand there is no such thing as coincidence. You are here because we need you, and you have information. So, my advice to you, my friend? Cooperate. Okay? But don't worry, I got your back. Because we are what? Musketeers! All for one, and one for all. But your comrades in the order, their motto is all for us. War is coming, my friend. That bunker you guys found, whoever controls it survives and fuck the rest of us. But we have been preparing for this. And I want you to join us, Artyom. Oh, I'm not joining you. Ugly. I was beginning to think you had not survived your mission. I was captured, Comrade Corbett. This ranger here, uh, saved me. What a coincidence. This Nitsky, you're one of the Spartan rangers. Do you know this man? Yes, sir. His name is Artyom. Miller trusts him. They found the six together. He's also earned several commendations since officially enlisting with the Order. Well, I am overjoyed to meet you, Comrade Artyom. I think we both have something to offer. Take the... Comrade to the negotiation room. Young man, let's dispense with you. Oh, yo, they just keep hitting me, yo. What the f... This telepathic mutant, the so-called... I shoot everybody in the face when I get out of here. Tell me all you know about it, and I will allow you I'm to shoot him in his eye. Job with the Rangers. <laughs> but is my spy an operative? 
just like those uh, musketeers. One for all, and all for... Secretary General Comrade Moskvin. Corbut, I need a moment. And what do we have here? Another enemy of the revolution? <laughs> Perfect. As you have always noted, Lonya must start learning how to improve his, uh, people skills. As a matter of fact, we were... Ah, put away your truth serums. I'll show you a more traditional Red Army method. Faster and more effective. You shit! Spill your guts now! Tell everything you know of these six! <laughs> Still nothing, huh? That, bitch! You talk, or I'll fry your balls in pig fat! Passwords, code names, operation protocol. What are you doing, Dad? This is called interrogation, Lonya. Interrogation. Business as usual. What? You never did that playing dolls? No! You little shit! There's no power without blood! There is! Your brother ruled peacefully, and they still love him! Get back here! God damn it! All right. Use your drugs. Use hot pokers. Just get everything out of him, and shoot the bastard! And then come to my office. We must talk. What's gonna happen? I'm gonna shoot the shit out of you. I must agree with you on it. Brutality is a crooked path to information. I believe in science. One injection and you will tell us everything. I need you to go to Venice and take care of the locals who made the delivery. This will not be a cash payment. Understand? Completely, sir. And uh, what about the Dark One? The creature has been located. The details are in this envelope. You will pick up the animal right after you go to Venice. Don't disappoint me this time. I won't, Comrade General. I, uh, I won't. Robert. Fuck my father, and Morozov, and the revolution, and my own future! I'd rather be shot and end up like father, killing his own brother! Listen, if you get out of here, just, well, just live! Here! Get in there! This is the way to freedom. Believe me, I know. Well, good luck to you! Alright, so, um, yeah, I'm, I guess I'm following the mouse to freedom, but what I do know is that I'm shooting me some, I got some people to kill when I come back. They ain't gonna like me. I might kill the whole family. I might kill the whole army, I mean. So you already know. I am the head of intelligence, after all. Then why did you let the information leak? Damned refugees. Polis, Hansa, and even the fucking Nazis already know about our plans. The rats will be exterminated, and war is inevitable anyway. Inevitable? I have my doubts. So does the Politburo. 
A doubtful man is a fearful man. How dare you? You're the head of state security, and you report to me! Yes, but now, when we are one step away from a unified Red Metro, you have no right to disrupt the plan. I have no right? I'm... Moscovin, when you asked me how to deal with your elder brother when he was still the Secretary General, I helped you. And after his tragic death, I bucked your takeover. So I suggest you take my advice again. This is unacceptable. It's very simple, Comrade Moskvin. We all stand together, arms linked against the wind. Or it's every man for himself. But, Corbett, is this whole fucking metro truly worth the blood we're going to spill? I have a way of doing it without spilling any blood. No blood, you say? All right. Go do your trick. I'll handle the police bureau. Kazil. One of these days. They should let me. They should let me jump down there right now and just snap his neck. A frontal assault is hopeless. But if we go underground to the church, advance through the catacombs, then attack from the rear, we should encounter little or no resistance. Then we just have to do a sweep. Attention, Comrade General. Soldiers, you are trusted with an important mission. Each group has its task. And you have been told only what you need to know to succeed. But remember that this operation is top secret, and you must not be taken alive by the enemy. I hope that I am understood. Questions? Can we use radios after we capture the assigned targets? Only in case of emergency, and on a scrambled frequency. If we're faced with strong enemy counterattacks, do we hold the positions or fall back? Hold them. Anyway. The enemy is unlikely to mount an effective counteroffensive. Comrade General, we have been issued a banner along with the other gear, but we were also made to remove all our markings. We will leave no trace of our operation. Only upon victory and receipt of the following signal will you raise your banner over the captured targets. Further questions? No, Comrade General. Good luck then. Serve the red line! line. line. Now I am in a real spider-infested catacombs, where the General Secretary Moskvin does not look like the head spider. That title clearly belongs to General Corbut. I sure would like to know what's on his mind. What did Lesnitsky bring him from D6? What's going to destroy the enemies of the revolution? Only questions and no answers. The only thing that is clear, Pavel has information on the Dark One, which makes him my current target. Alright, so, um, I got freed. Um, of course I got freed. But, um, things are gonna, um, take a serious change now. Um, I'm going to find Pavel, I'm going to ask him a couple questions and I'm going to shoot him in the face. I'm going to shoot the dude with the red eye in the face. I'm going to shoot the general in the face and then I'm going to kill all these soldiers. And then, then I'm going to try to see if I can find some more information on the dark one. Because um, the simple fact that I got portrayed, it, even though I knew I was going to get portrayed, it, it was kind of obvious. But um, for the simple fact that I got portrayed, it, really makes me want to shoot like everybody in the red line in the face so only people I might spare is the civilian so um yeah that's pretty much it um they definitely plan on 
bringing the war to the Rangers and um trying to take over the D6. So I need to hurry up and get back to my station and just be ready for anything. And um yeah, we definitely got a war on our hands. Uh, the red Nazis, I mean the Russian Nazis know about it. The red line know about it. And um, maybe even some bandits and mercenaries know about it too. So we got, um, they're attacking us from all sides. So it's going to be a, it's going to be a bloody war and uh, hopefully we come out on top. But as of right now, I'm hoping that some of the people I said in the previous missions, uh, some of the people lives I spared um, in the previous missions will come back and like, um, play some type of significant role in this whole um, this whole civil war thing that's about to happen, but um, or war war that's about to happen. But um, I definitely know it's gonna be some bloodshed, and um, Pavo's head is the first one I'm aiming at. So, all right, until next time, YouTube.